I did uh, six national Dodge truck commercials over the years, and I'm gonna reenact all of them for you right now. This is, uh, we're gonna take a commercial break. This is all six of them real fast, back to back. It's a montage. All right, here we go, I'm gonna beat up Duster. You guys are in a Dodge Ram truck with a Hemi engine in it. Right, here we go, we'll pull up next, you go. Hey, that thing got a Hemi? You about to find out. Come on, man, floor it. Get me closer, I smell a Hemi. That can't be good. Sweet. That's it, that's all six of them. Thank you, Dodge. I love Dodge. Hey, they were good to me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing up there, they're not dead. Get off the ceiling, Dodge, you're gonna hurt yourself. <laughs> they were good to me, man. They were so much fun. They were paying me to go to the Daytona 500 three years in a row just to hang out. They were paying me to go to car shows where I was a celebrity judge of a burnout contest. <laughs> I signed women's boobies. That's when I realized there is a God. With these, when these things are airing a lot, all my buddies back home, they're asking me like, how'd you get them commercials, man? How'd you get them? <laughs> That's, <laughs> I got some friends who do that. <laughs> you know, it's like I scored it in a drug deal. It's a pretty crazy story, man. When I first, when I first moved to Los Angeles, I got a commercial agent. And all he does is send you out on auditions for commercials. Now my agent thinks he's Jeremy Piven from Entourage. <laughs> Yeah, he called me up the day of this audition. He's like, hey, John, it's Hugh Leon from Coast to Coast Talent. How you doing, big guy? I was like, oh, my God. Are we on the radio? Why are you talking like that? He goes, <laughs> that's a good one, John. Uh, check it out, buddy. Uh, I've got an audition for you today. It's for Dodge. And you're gonna be playing white trash. <laughs> I was like, I know what that is. <laughs> Can you be there in 15 minutes? I was like, 15 minutes? Man, let me change my clothes. No, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what they're looking for when they say white trash, you know. I had my old Goodyear outfit. I put that thing on. It was nasty. It had stains all over it. I had longer hair than this even. I pulled it back behind my ear. I made a makeshift mullet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I call it the West Virginia Waterfall. <laughs> Come ride these rapids. <laughs> I didn't shave my face, I put a dip in my mouth. I'm thinking, I got this part, baby. You know, I've been in LA two years, I hadn't seen one of the redneck guy other than me. I didn't know who they're gonna call. <laughs> I was like, I just gotta go down there and pick up my paycheck. I go into the waiting room, okay? I walk in, there are 50 other dudes who look almost exactly like me. It was weird, man, it was creepy. They all dressed the same, they all had red hair and freckles. I was like, who are you people? And where have you been? Let's have a party. I got a keg of uh in my truck. Let's do this. <laughs> But this is how it works. You go into the waiting room and they have a table sitting there with the scripts on it, right? So I picked up a script. If you want to call it a script, there's one piece of paper with one line on it. I don't think you can count that as a script. <laughs> you know, if, if you can fit it in a fortune cookie, probably not a script. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just looking at it. And all it said was that thing got a hemi. I was trying to practice that in my head, you know, how I was going to say it. I've been taking acting classes and stuff. That's <laughs> just so stupid. I was up there going, that thing got to him, man. <laughs> this other dude walks up to me and taps me on his shoulder. He's like, hey, man, hey, do, um, do you know what that last word is? <laughs> yeah, he goes, is it him, I? <laughs> and I wish I would have said, uh-huh. But he caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that guy, you know? I was like, him, I? <laughs> no. It's Hemi. He goes, Hemi? Is this, is this a Preparation H commercial? <laughs> I said, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. 
you're playing a butthole. I wish Preparation H would ask me to do a commercial, man. I say yes like that. I think that'd be hilarious. Wouldn't you love to see me in a Preparation H commercial? I'd do it too. Be like, hey, hey, that, that thing got a hemorrhoid? Yeah. Check out this new Preparation H right here. Clear that ass right up. See? It's so millions. <laughs> All right, for those of you who don't know what a hemi is, no big deal, I will tell you. Hemi is short for the word hemispherical. It describes the cylinder head, so when the spark plugs ignite, you get a bigger explosion, and you go faster, all right? I know this stuff, I worked at a good year. <laughs> this is my favorite part. I finally go into the audition. I was nervous, man. I had casting directors in there, ad agency people, I had a little camera crew, one aluminum chair. So I'm sitting in this aluminum chair. I started thinking to myself, okay, Let's keep this real, you know? <laughs> like, what would I be doing for real if I was in a muscle car at a stoplight somewhere in North Kekalaki? <laughs> Thinking, all right, I'd probably have my elbow out the window, right? Because you know the air conditioning shot in that thing. <laughs> all right? Got my dip in. And I started thinking, I started thinking, well, it says muscle car, you know? So maybe I'll just vibrate a little better. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know how a muscle car make it vibrate, right? <laughs> now here's the thing. No one has told me to do anything yet. <laughs> I'm just sitting there doing this for no reason. <laughs> the director is laughing his head off. He's like, ha, 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 ha. Why is he doing that? He goes, say the line, John. Just say it. I go, hey! That thing got a hit me! <laughs> it was weird. It was so weird.